Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the object-oriented programming. The main features of object-oriented programming are classes and object. So first we know what are classes and what are objects. A class is a way to bind the data and its associated function together. It allows the data to be hidden from external use if necessary. Data hiding property is one of the important features of C++. To get a clear idea, let's see a real world example. Suppose you want to write a program on student. A student has different attributes, such as a student has name, a student has height, a student has weight, etc. Similarly, student can perform different actions, such as student can read, student can write, student can play, etc. If we combine these attributes and function together into a single unit, then it forms a class. If we can do that, then it will be easier to us to write a program. In other words, we can say classes are user-defined data types that combine attributes and action together into a single unit or under a single name. Next, we know what are objects. Objects are the basic runtime entities in an object-oriented system. They may represent a person a place, a bank account, or any item that the program has to handle. Let's see an example. If we consider student is a class, then the name of the students are object. For example, here we use three names, John, Sam, and David. These are the object of class student. In other words, we can say objects are the variable of type class. To get it more clearly, let's see a programming example. In this program, first we learn where and how to declare a class. Here we declare the class outside the main function. If we do that, then we can access that class from any of the function written in the program. To declare a class, first we have to write the keyword class, then the class name, I am going to write as student, then a pair of curly braces and class definition is terminated by a semicolon. The class body must be written within the curly braces. One of the main thing of class body is access specifier. There are two main access specifier. One is public and another is private. If we declare a member as a private, then it cannot be accessed from outside the class. Only the member function that are declared inside the class can access that private member. By default, all the members are private. But if we declare a member as a public, then we can access it from inside the class as well as outside the class also. Means the public member is available to everyone. Here we use the public. So I'm going to write here public, then colon, and then write the member that you want to declare as a public. Since it is our first program on class, so we write a simple program. Here we write a function display that prints something to the screen. So I am going to write here void display and a pair of parentheses. Since the function display is not going to take any parameter, so leave it blank. Then a pair of curly braces. And within the curly braces, we have to write the function body. Here we print a text, so I am going to write here cout. I am a student. Our next task is to create or declare an object. Object declaration is similar to the variable declaration. If we want to declare an integer type variable, then first we need to write its type, that is int, and then the variable name, suppose a. In the same way, we declare the object. We know objects are the variable of type class. So I'm going to write here student, and then object name, suppose John. This statement indicates John is an object of type student. You can create any number of objects under one class like Sam, David, Omit, 
etc but here we use only one object so I am going to delete this part next we see how we can access the data or function defined inside the class student to access the display function written inside the class student first we have to write the object name that is John then dot operator and then function name display let's check the output build and run as you can see here it print I am a student that's it this was about the classes and objects hope you understand if you have any doubt please comment on the video and if you have any suggestion please tell us thanks for watching to watch more videos please subscribe this channel slide hunt you can like my facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt and you can follow me on google plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt